Hey guys, welcome to the first ever vlog in my new house. The main thing that I want to show you guys today is my new art studio. Even though we've been here a month, I haven't shown you guys it yet and a lot of you have been asking for it so I thought that is the first thing that I need to show you guys is my new art studio. A few things have changed so I'm just mainly going to go around and tell you about the things that have changed because a lot of it is pretty much the same as it was before. So if we start off over here, this is my PC setup that I had at my parents' house. So Darby had his in the room with me when I had my drawing setup at his, but this is my setup. I've got my Blue Yeti mic and just got my like computer and monitor. I've got my scanner to scan all like my artwork down there. And a new addition that I've just put up is my play button. I've had this sitting on my desk for the past few months and I'm really really happy that I've now got it on the wall. I think it looks great and you may be wondering what all of this stuff is but this is acoustic foam. It was so so echoey in here when I first moved in because it's very boxy but the acoustic foam has really really helped make the quality of the sound a lot better which is great. Over here I've just got some like stationary stuff for planning. I've got my book that I'm reading, this is Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk, very good for the business side of like if you want to do business, you got to do business if you're trying to be an artist. I've got all my pens and two calculators for some reason and just like other stationary stuff in there. Down here I have got some frames, I've also got quite a lot of envelopes which I use for prints, some mics and a lot of just like tech accessory stuff. In there I keep like all my important documents and stuff, I've got some sketchbooks over here as well and notepads to write my planning stuff in. I've got my tripod which I mainly use to record like intros for my main art channel videos and so over here I had this in the old place as well it's just got a lot of like tech stuff in and all of my markers look how many markers are in are in there it's just full of markers and then some other bits down there over here I've got my old lights so these were the lights that I used to use to record all of my art drawing videos but as you can see I've now upgraded to these beauties so these both have 600 LED bulbs in each they are so bright as you can see it really nicely just illuminates the whole of my drawing table this is what I've been working on as well so it just makes it so nice and bright and I'm so happy with that because before there was really intense like spotlights here and here from those two small ones but now it's just really nice and diffused it means I can record no matter what time of the day it is because I don't have to rely on any daylight I've just finished recording some Patreon tutorials where I showed how to draw each of these eyes. So that was really fun, it is now 11 a.m. So just like before, all this is the same, it's a bit messy in here. So all of this stuff is the same. One other thing that I got which I am so excited about, it has made it so much easier to record the audio for my tutorials, and that is one of these lavalier mics. So this is like the transmitter thing, and it like sends the audio to the receiver and into my camera, and it's so cool, I feel so professional wearing it. But I really like that it has this little mute, so as I'm like talking and doing my Patreon tutorials, if I'm like doing the same thing for a while, I can just mute it temporarily and then I can just like do you know what I want relax a little bit as I'm doing it I don't have to worry about being too quiet so that's great I didn't have that before but yeah everything else is pretty much the same it's just so nice to have it all in my own room and like if it's a bit of a mess I don't have to worry about tidying it oh one other thing that I've got is I've got my printer under here with all of my printer paper on top so it's very much in a corner because I don't use it too much. One thing that I forgot to show you guys is a new chair that I got. I got this because I thought it fits in with the theme really nicely. I wanted to keep everything as light as possible, even though some things it's hard to avoid because they were just dark. But I really like it. It's really nice and comfortable. And yes, yeah, it was quite cheap actually. It's from Argos. It was just like £59, but it's so comfortable to sit on for like hours on end. 
So now I thought I would show you guys the artwork that I've been working on during the period where I wasn't vlogging so you guys wouldn't have seen it much and so the first piece is this watercolour bird that I did and I was going through like all of my main techniques for drawing using this loose watercolour style and inking and adding highlights and all of that sort of stuff. So this was the first piece for a Patreon tutorial. I also did this girl in colour pencil and I just mainly used Prismacolors for this and so I wasn't like fully happy with it because I don't like using the Prismacolors I, d I don't really get as smooth results with the Prismacolors but I also use watercolour paper for this because I use solvent so I was using a bit of a different technique as well I also did this giraffe in coloured pencil and watercolour for my mixed media series I drew Camilla Cabello in charcoal. I still haven't done a video for this on my art channel and I need to because I really like how this one turned out. I think it's so nice. So I just did that in charcoal and that is on Patreon as well. I also did this cat in pastel for the mixed media series because I did it in pastel and coloured pencil. So I really like this one. I liked a lot of these, how these turned out. And I also did a butterfly on a flower in markers as an underbase and then coloured pencil so that was for the mixed media series as well so all of these that I just showed you were all for last month's Patreon series so they were for May and now this is the first one that I've done for June so it was one of the tutorial series out of four and so I did a real time tutorial on how I drew that eye, that eye and that eye so that is all the artwork that I've been working on Dub is just going to be live streaming all day, he live streams now on a Saturday so I'm just going to be getting stuff done whilst he's downstairs doing that and whilst I'm importing all of the stuff into my video editor I thought I would answer one of the questions that one of you guys asked on my last vlog and that was are me and Darby planning on having any pets? and so we're not mainly because we are renting the house and they don't allow pets so that's just the main reason why and to be honest I think even if we was allowed pets we wouldn't get any because we're both too busy at the moment to properly look after it and I don't think that's fair on the animal I wouldn't just get an animal because I wanted one if I don't feel like I have enough time to give it the attention it wants and the love it wants. It is now actually a couple of days after the footage that you last seen and over the last few days I've been working really hard on coming up with lots of new ideas for for my art channel and right now I am currently recording all of the intro stuff for those videos. As you can see I've got my lovely pile of clothes because I like to do a lot of costume changes, no just clothing changes whilst I do my intros and outros and I like to change my hair just to make it a bit more interesting. I thought I'd go through how to draw lots of different shades of skin in colour pencil and get it to look nice and realistic but I'm only going to use five coloured pencils and these are going to be colours that you'll get in your 12 pack of coloured pencils. That was my 10th video so we're doing well so far, happy with that, Let's see how many more we can do. My voice is getting really really dry and like I'm making a few more mistakes. Now that's that one. I've definitely got enough footage for about a month. I've been working a lot today on my next art video which is going to be a do's and don'ts for using different mediums together like how do you use them, what things should you avoid doing in terms of like the order that you put them down in like for my mixed media video I did all the different mediums, all different combinations and done little demonstrations of each ones and so I tried to do it in a nice visual way, I put like my camera the one I'm holding now at this sort of angle so it's not always just overhead it was coming in at the sides a bit anyway guys I'm gonna leave the vlog there please keep commenting down below your questions that you want me to answer in the next vlog and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye everybody